Dot Lottie is right now the best choice to optimize your website or app's performance and make it even more smoother. In this tutorial, we will guide you through the step-by-step -step process of adding a Dot Lottie to your Webflow site. So let's dive in. This is my Webflow project that I'm currently working on and I think I would like to add my animation in here. But before we begin, we will need a Lottie animation that we want to use. So you could either create your own animation using After Effects and then export it to .lottie using the Lottie Files plugin. Or you could just choose an animation from our extensive library of both free and premium animations. Once you finalize an animation that you would like to work with, just upload it to your workspace. Now from here, just download it as a dot .lottie. You can see over here how the size of a dot .lottie is significantly smaller than our already lighter JSON file. Now that this is done, let's go back to our Webflow project. Now navigate to this panel over here and click on the Assets button. Now click over here to upload the .lottie file. You will need a subscription to Webflow in order to upload a .lottie. Okay, now that this is done, all you have to do is just drag and drop it in place. And that's all. Now I'm just going to quickly check the loop option over here so we can ensure that our Lottie keeps playing. In order to position and size the animation within the div block, you can use the Webflow's designer's layout and positioning tools from over here. You can adjust the width, the height, margins and the padding and control the size and placement of your animation. You can also click on your animation and hit preview to preview your animation. Now just click on the preview button over here to see how it looks in action. If everything looks good, just click on the publish button over here to make your website live with the Lottie animation included. Congratulations, you've successfully added a dot .lottie to your Webflow website. You can experiment with different animations and settings to create stunning effects. And that's it for this video. I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any questions, please feel free to write them in the comments below. This is Nishi signing off and we wish you a wonderful day ahead.